When you're sewing, pins have a tendency to get away from you on the table. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to keep them under control by making this easy magnetic pin holder from a formula can. All that's coming up next on Crafting with Nyler. Okay, let's get started with our pin cushion. Now you probably saw me use my purple magnetic pin cushion in some of my other videos. Um, yeah, that one. I dropped it and it broke. So I couldn't use it anymore because it broke in pieces. But I said, let me take the magnet out and use the magnet to still work for my pins because it still works. There's nothing wrong with the magnet. So I decided to make use of the magnet by um, transforming it into something else. So I'm, I had been using these baby formula cans to keep um, tools and rulers and things in. Because they were just so convenient and they're sturdy and I didn't want to kind of throw them away. So I decided, let me just take one of them and turn it into a pin cushion. At first, I'm going to take this little cap off the bottom. So I want to determine how tall I want it. I want it tall enough that I can kind of grab it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it um, two and a half inches. So I'm just going to take a pin and I'm going to mark two and a half inches all the way around. Now that it's marked, now I'll tell you this is pretty sturdy, but this is actually cardboard. This portion here, it's not really metal. The bottom part is, so the magnets stick, stick to it, and that's the part we want. So now you're just going to take an X-Acto knife or a razor of some sort carefully, and you're just going to guide it and cut it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So there we have um, our can cut and that's pretty much it. So now what you want to do is I found some sheets of, of um, duct tape and I really like duct tape and this is like an iridescent sheet. So we know that we cut this two and a half inches. So the wonderful thing about these sheets is they have lines on the back. So I'm going to measure two and a half inches and that puts me right here on this line. But you want to make sure when you measure on the other side, you got to allow for a quarter of an inch. So in this case, we're going to make it two and three quarters of an inch so that we'll have it all, you know, it'll, it will, we will, we will eliminate that white line there. So you're just going to mark in the center two and three quarters. Okay, again, I used my handy ruler. By the way, this ruler is a broken yardstick. And I'm like, why well, throw it away? It makes a great table ruler. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to draw my line across. And I just did that so that I can have a straight line to cut. And now we just cut it. And now we have our two and a half inch strip. And because it's not going to go all the way around, you want to cut another strip. So what I like to do is, um, since the other side is also the same, I'll lay them on top of each other and cut it as a pattern. Of course, you can remove the little duct tape sticker. So now I'm going to cut another piece because I want these to be identical. And I need to go all the way around. So I'm going to cut it using this one as a guide. And now we just take it and we just peel it off. And I like to just peel off a little at a time. Get the right section here. And I just go ahead and put, put it down to the bottom. And I don't worry about the top because the lid's going to be on it. So if you don't cut it, it completely straight, like in my case I didn't. And you just peel it off and just let it roll around the sides. And now we do the same thing with the other piece to finish it off. 
if I can get it started. There we go. Oops, one piece. Here's our piece, our other piece. We're going to peel it off to get it started. There we go. And I'm not going to pull it all the way off because we don't need all of it. So I'm just going to make sure those butt up to each other. And when I get to the other side, I want to make sure that it overlaps a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut and save that for some other project and lay that down. Okay, and there we've got it finished. So now what you're going to do, you don't have to glue anything because like I said, this is metal. So I'm going to take this because if you notice these, these magnets come off and this is just a piece of metal. So we're going to put those magnets back on like that. And when I put it in the can, I'm going to put it upside down like this. And you notice it drives the magnet, it, it, it grabs it. So see, it's not going anywhere. And then you just put your lid on to make it really clean because my can was all rusted inside from age. You just put the top on it, turn it upside down. Grab your pins. And there you have a pretty duct tape pin cushion made from a formula can. So I hope that this craft tip has been helpful and I hope that you try it. Happy sewing! Happy crafting!